was a gripping night in the I'm a Celebrity castle as Radio 1 host Jordan North was subjected to another Bush Tucker trial with fellow campmates yeah, Vernon Kay and Beverly Callard. Well, in just a moment, we'll be speaking to Jordan's old pal, William Hansen, who's been on this show as an etiquette expert. <laughs> So quite what he thought of all that <laughs> inside of your mouth showing at the dinner table last <laughs> night, I really don't know. Uh, also, we've got Samo Farah's wife, Tanya, and their four children. First, though, let's get all the gossip uh, from the former jungle camp mate, Matthew Wright. And here he is. Morning, Matthew. Good morning. <laughs> yes, it was a stomach-churning evening's entertainment last night. I think the good old eating trial, you can't go wrong. What I want to do, first of all, is I, I, I want to ask your take on the castle itself. Because people are people are, are asking us constantly, yeah. what do you think, what do you think, what do you think? And, and I think, my mum said yesterday, I'm not sure, what do you think? I said, the, it's, talk about make the best of, of a difficult situation. Yeah. That castle looks like Game of Thrones. I think it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. I think uh, there's a new energy to the programme. Uh, I think Ant and Deck, uh, I mean, people, yeah, they, they are at the top of their game, but they are acing it at the moment. I was yeah. cracking up last night uh, with the one-liners. If I had, one thing that seems to be different is, as I recall, in my group, uh, and certainly I think last year, they divide the camp base up into two groups. And that provides quite an unsettling dynamic, whereas having them all together straight from the off. For me, it's the kind of I'm a celebrity I like. I like it when the campmates get along. And I think we're going to have a, a pretty jolly camp for the next couple of weeks. But maybe sometimes from the TV, uh, maybe some viewers prefer a more sort of a friction, a more frictious, a fractious camp, in which case maybe dividing them would have been better. Well, obviously, if you're in the camp and you're a celebrity, you want everything to be harmonious. Yeah. But if you're watching the show, we want a bit of drama, don't we? But that's interesting. <laughs> I think, yes, we do want drama. But do you know what? Where the way I think all our heads are at Maybe. the moment, where we are, just this year, I'm loving the fact they're getting on. Oh. I'm loving the fact that we can really see some genuinely terrific personalities. I don't want them to fall out. I just want, I want a little bit of harmony, Matthew. I think, I think you're, you're onto something there. I, I, when I went in, my biggest fear, apart from spiders, was that I was going to come across as a bigger coward uh, than Paul Burrell. He was the sort of thing. <laughs> that can now, never happen, Matthew. Well, you, you said it. I mean, I, it was merciless because, I, I, along with everybody else, I thoroughly enjoyed him being scared witless. Now, you compare that with Jordan. He was scared witless in the snake trial, but he somehow, I think with Shane Richie's sort of nudgy, he, he, he somehow got through it. And instead of us all sitting there saying, oh, what a wimp, what a wuss, what a loser, I think, I mean, I just love the guy. I mean, I, 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 he's just, he sort of conquered his fears and, and we see the screaming and, Ooh! and I actually felt for him. I felt much more empathetic. So maybe, maybe you're right, Philip. Maybe this is, this is the kind of I'm a celebrity we need for this year. Do you know what I'm loving, Phil? I'm loving seeing people hugging because they can touch each other. Yeah, because they're yeah. hugging. <laughs> it's just so lovely to see them just bonding together. That's the one thing I love is the hugs. Yeah. I just want them to hug more. What um, What do you think of it? Because obviously, you know, there are lovely adaptations on what we're all used to. And uh, and last night we were introduced to um, to Kiosk Kledwin, um, which I think we've got a clip of. Let's have a look. Here we are. Kiosk, Kiosk Cledwins, ye old shop. shop. Hello, Cledwin. Loving your little little, little picture. picture in the background with your Come beach. Kiosk Kev, wishing you luck. There's no smile. Come on, smile. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> now get that in there. Come on, ready? Yeah! What percentage of Brits say they have at least one conversation a day about the weather? We say 44%. <gasps> no! Cledwin! I was sure it was 44% as well. Did you? Yeah, absolutely sure. No, I went low. Did I you? I went low, well, You'd have got it right then, in that no, case. No, I don't think they would have listened to me. They were all going high, high, yeah. high. So he looks, uh, he looks like Dick Strawbridge, um, and uh, that, is a, that is a mighty tash he's got going on there. What do you think? Uh, well, again, you, you get desperate for sort of uh, a new company, and so I can remember in our year we had, uh, we had Kiosk Keith, 
and uh, you try really, really hard to squeeze some kind of nugget of conversation out of them. You know, what's happening out there, what, what sort of sporting events, anything at all, any gossip, and they just don't give you an inch. I have to say, in that Castle Coin Challenge, the revelation of Holly's singing voice. I mean, uh, she could throw a javelin further than most people, but what an amazing singer. Beautiful voice. She was really good. I want more of that, actually. Mm. There will yes. be, I'm sure. I hope so. What, <laughs> last night, the trial, the eating trial oh. for me was just insane. It was disgusting, but I loved watching it. <laughs> um, tell us about that. What did you think of it? Um, I, I still, which we have Bev Callard in there uh, with Vernon and, and Jordan. And she's Bev a machine. Is, uh, been... It, it, she's, a, she's a vegan uh, now, and Only since that March. meant that she was spared. <laughs> she was... <laughs> Best line so far. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, so I thought, I thought if I was to be fair, and, and she's a mate, but I thought she got off a little easy. Uh, and then uh, Jordan and Vernon between them. I mean, it's, it's everything you see on TV during the eating trial is true. You know, oh. you, you gag. It's, it's the psychology... The psychology of being told you're going to be eating a sort of deer's testicle, you've got to eat the whole thing, or even the end bit. Yes, even the end bit. And cow teats, it, it really gets to your head. On the plus side, um, the cat was fairly hungry, and it's always nice to have a bit of extra food in your belly, even if it's I disgusting. That, actually, they had a reasonable meal. Well, that's what I think. Well, Jordan was put off his dinner, wasn't he? Jordan didn't even want to eat on the evening because he was just put off his meal. Let's, um, let's have a look. Here you go, if you missed let's it. Have a look. Can you guess what it is? Yeah, it looks like some form of testicle. Deer's testicles. Choose your testicles. <laughs> Good, man. Ooh. Oh, God, what's that that's just come out of it? Oh, oh. Come on, Vernon. Oh, Vernon! You've got yeah. this. You've got it, mate. You've it. got it. Come on. Yes! Yes! This is... <laughs> is it a willy? Just the tip of the penis. <laughs> Come on, Jordan. Yes, yes it's got. Yes, 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 it's got. yes. It's fermented tofu. We've had tofu in there, so it's just tofu. A couple of days later. <laughs> <laughs> on, Beth, Go on, Beth. Go on, Beth. Toshy, that lady. That's be brave. Go on. That is fine. Get it in. Come on, Beth. Just keep it in. Keep it in. Keep, it in. keep your hand over your mouth and keep it in. Yes, 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 yes team. Yes. I love the support. I love the support between the three of them. Honestly. It's just tofu a couple of days later. <laughs> well, Beverly was a machine. Like it was, She was eating it like Turkish delight. She was just, like, putting yeah. it in. I just I thought I couldn't have done that. But I they know said, they did actually say that of all of them that were down there, hers smelt the worst. Oh, yeah, because when you eat that stuff, it stays on your breath forever. Even when you brush <laughs> your teeth, you brush your tongue, it's still there. Oh, my gosh. I thought it was the uh, fermented catfish as the drink. I think I did one with Joey, which was a mixture of Joey S, a mixture of uh, ground-up beetles or something. And it's the drinks that I think, in many ways, are actually worse than the, the chewy ones. Yeah, you yeah. chew and Jordan, chew and Jordan chew. Jordan downed it in one, didn't he? I, mean, I don't know how he's done it. <laughs> just extraordinary. Yeah, he didn't vomit, though. Yeah. He didn't vomit. I was quite impressed with it. There was some serious name-dropping going on last night, I thought. Oh, yeah, Tom Cruise, <laughs> go-kart in with Shane Ritchie. How cool was that? Uh, uh, I think it, we. I can remember in uh, our year we had Alfonso Riviera, and he he knew a lot of Hollywood A-listers, and I think maybe that set set a benchmark. But they, the names were coming thick and fast. Uh, we got a little clip of uh, of some of the people that Vernon recognised in his local supermarket. Nicole Kidman and Tom were filming. Um, Tom, <laughs> were filming Eyes Wide Shut. There was a big indoor go karting track opposite BBC. So I turned up. He said Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. I said, "What are you doing here?" He said, "He wants to know if he can race against you." Because you love go karting. We'd race till five in the morning. He was, he was a speed freak. I was in Marks and Spencer's, I had me facing the veg, and I saw this figure come into the door. Brad Pitt. That very afternoon, yeah. as I'm crossing the road, Kate and William stopped in their range. No way. As I'm crossing the road, I'm like, Oh my God. Yeah. What a day. Yeah. Angelina used to go to our Sainsbury's. God. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's Brilliant. good name dropping. I know. Tell me about it. I never name dropped, and I've been, I've been, you know, around a few. Oh, you! Few of names. All I did of the not, people. I did not name drop once when I was in the jungle. Never once, so, honestly. Which is extraordinary because exactly. you've met I never everybody. Do. I never do. I don't. I don't even tell my family and friends like when I'm going to go and interview someone. Really? And now, obviously, I'm doing it on Zoom at home, like this, like me and you, Matthew, <laughs> right now.
Uh, but we've got two we've got two new campmates going in, haven't we? Yes, um, I think this is really interesting. So we've got Russell Watson and Ruthie Henschel. Their names have been uh, fairly well publicised. So I don't think I'm uh, bricksing any surprises there. Like um, some of the older candidates, I, I know them uh, both of these people really quite well, and I, I'm a huge fan. I, I have to say, um, I think we're going to see. I think we're going to see a little bit more entertainment coming from the camp. I mean, Ruthie cannot control herself. I mean, she really is the full jazz hands. Uh, and, and I think Russell is a, um, he's, 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 he's not your sort of traditional opera singer. He's an earthy guy. He's a real guy, a very likeable man who's, who's obviously had his journeys. I, I think we're going to see one of the most friendly camps in I'm a Celebrity's 20-year history. And I think... Taking my lead from you, Philip, I think that's probably just what we need this year. Yeah, well, just certainly what, we what need. I need, and I, I think um, that Ruthie and Russell would just be fantastic. Do that's you? Do you think they'd be a good addition? Razzle dazzle. That's when we're going to get some singing. <laughs> Should we have a look? Here we go. <laughs> my name's Russell Watson, and I am a singer. I'm Ruthie Henschel. I give them the old razzle dazzle in the West End and on Broadway. That's what I do for a living. Probably best known for my performances of. Nessuna Dorma. They're going to see a different side to Russell Watts. So don't think it's going to be fun at all. I don't really want to think about the bugs at the moment. I think I'm a tough cookie, but I am a bit terrified. And there they are, the new celebs. Uh, so we'll see them. That's going to be the razzle-dazzle. 